how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So I'm going to show you a real quick recipe for bone broth that we absolutely love. So I just have my, this is a pressure cooker, but it's a crock pot. You could use it on the stove, whatever you want. And I'm just going to pour, I only have a little bit of olive oil on here. So I'm just putting it in there because it's good for you. Just a little bit. That's empty. And then here I have the rotisserie chicken that I use for the chicken salad. I'll link the video at the end of this for you. And I have my carrots and my uh, celery and onion and my chicken bones underneath. And all I do is, well, you know what? I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna rip these in half a little bit more, I think. And this, but, well, that dog gets that one. Ugh, I'm gonna have to, <laughs> that's just gonna cook, okay. And then I dump everything in, bones, everything, all that good fat. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna fill it up with water into the top of it. Which I gotta kinda scoop over here. Let's ground meat in the background. Okay. I should just have Dave put that whole thing over there and fill it up for me. And if you use a little bit of warm water, it'll loosen up anything, but I'm not worried about it. And I'm just gonna fill it to the fill right there. And then when I come back, I'll show you what I did. Oh, um, for my for my pressure cooker, I'm gonna pressure cook it twice and then leave it cook like a crock pot. If you have a crock pot, put it on low, leave it cook all day, seven, eight hours. If you need it fast, you know, cook it on high, do, you know, whatever. If you have to do it on the stove, no problem. Do it like you're cooking sauce. It's no big deal. It's just to get those good bones and all out. And because it's roasted already, it's quite delicious. So I'll see you when we're done. Okay, this is to the line. I forgot to tell you that I also had garlic. So I just add it in like this because it'll cook. You can crush it. You can do whatever you want. I like it whole because I like to uh, eat it because it kind of roasted after. So I just really just put it in like this. And it'll cook and get nice and soft. And if you want to crush them, all you have to do is take your take your garlic, take your knife like that, give it a smash, and then put it in. And then you get really good flavor. And if you have hand problems like me, hit it. Just give it a good, this knife really does it for you. So that's it. And uh, I'll see you now. <laughs> now I'll see you when it's done. With the lid on, I have the Power Pressure Cooker XL, and what I do is I hit chicken meat, and it'll say 15, and I'm gonna go up to medium because I really want to get that out of there. And then it will start itself, and it'll start to do its whole pressure cooking thing. Uh, I love this because you can use it as a crock pot. You can use it for canning. Uh, it is so fantastic. So, okay. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh, yeah. Yeah, boy. Look at that. Look how rich and delicious. Delicious, delicious. Look at that. Oh, I can't really get it off there, but... <laughs> So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna strain it and then, you know, I, you could put like a couple bay leaves in. I mean, you can really put peppercorns, whatever you have, but I just do basic. Um, but you don't wanna salt it until you have it like strained and everything and you taste it because using rotisserie chicken and the skin and everything, that's already seasoned. So you might have enough seasoning and if you have high blood pressure like me, you gotta watch the salt. Although we use pink Himalayan salt and that does not affect my, my, blood pressure at all. Welcome to the Donovan's. Okay, I'll be back. Oh, let me show you this. This is delicious to have on hand all the time. You can put it on your meat, on your uh, whatever you're making, your gnocchis. It's just butter with garlic. And if you melt it and then leave it in the fridge, you always have it to take a spoon out to baste your chicken or your steak or whatever you like. All right, I'll be back after it's strained. <laughs> Okay, so you can see the fat, like right here. Look at all that delicious fat. And this is for the keto diet. If you don't like fat and you don't want the fat, you see how it's starting to congeal a bit? 
you can do one of two things. You can get a, like run cold water on your spoon and then you can just scoop it off or you could set it in the refrigerator and of course the fat will congeal and then you can pull it off. So you don't have to have that, but for the keto diet, that's kind of what we want. These little bits and pieces, I'm not gonna fuss about because it's no big deal, it's just chicken. And uh, so I'm very excited with this. I'm very happy with this. We'll be eating off this all week and drinking it. That's what you'll drink when you start going into the keto flu or whatever. You should have one of these a day anyway. I think they help you a lot and um, especially when you're hungry. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks so much for watching all my keto videos. I can't, I can't tell you how exciting it is for me. And um, I'll have more videos coming up. And as always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. I love you guys so very much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.